Hi, I'm Real Unite Demon, and this is Hungry Horus on the ZX Spectrum. I'm playing this on my plus two, but the first time I ever played this was way back in 1982, just after my parents had bought me my first ZX Spectrum, and this was the game that they bought with it. Um, I remember looking at that cover with that bright sort of yellow border and, and that blue Horus and the little plant that was there on the side of beside him. I'll put a picture on the screen now, just for fun. Um, yeah, and, and I remember looking at that and thinking, wow, this looks like the best game ever. And to be fair, though, there's no screenshots. It's one of those games without any screen screenshots either so you, you you basically it was it was kind of loaded up and then you came to this this hungry Horus this horrible noise this noise that it does and that's it you've got your keyboard and you're ready to go um now I remember playing this for the first time I'm gonna go we're gonna play now um play it for this first time and and hungry Horus it's a kind of a weird concept this he's he is Hungry Horus. It's like Pac-Man. He's not eating pills, though. He's eating flowers. Now, Horus obviously eats flowers. If I kind of a... Oh, God. Yeah, they do catch you in the back of there. And this is the park keeper. And he's trying to throw me out because I'm spending my time eating flowers. It's, it's kind of a weird concept if you think about it. He's eating flowers. Right, we're going to get this bell. When we get this bell, this is kind of like the, the, the fire bell. You see he drops as well. He drops fruit as he goes around. And when we drop this, we get this sort of like bell that scares him. And then we can eat him a bit like Pac-Man. Alright. Uh, but you don't have to stay in the same maze. You can actually go out. Look. Really easily. And quite early on you can go out. So you don't have to stay in the same maze. You're just staying in the same maze. If you want to get extra points. So they get really scared when you do that. So we'll do that one. And we'll go out. But then you get further and further through the park, eating more and more flowers as you go, uh, and discover that it's actually getting quite tough now, because this one, if you notice, there's only one route through. We can only get up and down through it as we go. Oh, God, now there's two of them. And the only real way to get rid of them is to either beat him when he gets up to the bell himself, or, damn it, that's the problem. If he doesn't, if you don't, can't encourage him early on to come down here... And have a little play. You're in big trouble. And then you've got to encourage him to stay there without coming out. And he hasn't. He stayed in. So we're all good. We're going to march all the way up to the top. Bit of a bad level design, if you ask me that one, because there's no there's nowhere to hide. They're going. They're, they're always going to. You're going to have to control it. We can actually clear this one though. Let's clear this level. I like the way they kind of. I I always think that that's their lunch. They kind of grab their. They drop their lunch. They're having like strawberries and cherries for their lunch. Now this is a horrible level because, assuming he doesn't do it straight away, there's actually a little bit of a, they can kind of walk anywhere in this one, which is great, but they go straight through that little um, doorway into the level and they they get you, um, because there's no, whoa, strawberry, you're going to have that. See how he's just gone off and disappeared into that bit of the level there? But they can sometimes come and straight away do that when you start or you die, and it's really, really harsh actually. If I'm honest, it's a really harsh way of doing it. They also move faster up and down, which is really weird. They don't work. They don't move faster, um, sort of left and right. They move faster up and down, fast, which is kind of weird. But yeah, 1982. This is the game, and I was, and I remember loading it up, and I was delighted. I really was. I mean, look, I mean, look, you've got all the colours, or quite a lot of the colours. Oh, got me safe through the through the gap there, faster. Um, you've got brightly coloured levels. Um, you had a variation on Pac-Man. Um, uh, you had that, that that great cover art, and of course you had the uh, the fact that it was uh, that, uh, that it was Sinclair Spectrum. It was a Sinclair Spectrum game. Should we go again? Let's go again. But I still don't understand why Horace eats flowers. There were a number of the Horace games. Um, there are at least three that of of the age or of the time. Um, there have been some re new games made with Horace as the as the hero. Um, I don't think uh, gobble gobble eat him down or scare him away maybe. Um, there, I don't think the, the whoa! I don't think that the, um, the 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 newer games are quite the 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 same. There's some. There's, I think there's one by the the Mojon twins who who. Um, I think they're Spanish actually and these chaps have made a, a game and there's at least another one um, they're not quite the same um, hot, you've got but but when it, but when I think of think of these games I think of I think of hungry Horace Horace and the spider I think it's spider not spiders actually 
Horace and the Spider, um, which is a kind of a weird game because you have a, like a jumping level and you have a level A, well, you're sort of running level. No, running level first, followed by um, jumping between ropes, and then you have to kill the spiders by jumping, making holes, and hoping that they um, sort of jump into these, these, the, or fall into the holes, and you stomp on their heads and they fall through. Very weird. Um, and then you've got Horace to go skiing, where Horace has to cross a, a road, a very fast road, a bit like in um, Frogger. And he has to cross the road, and he gets all to the other side, and then he gets his skis once he gets to the other side, because he has to go to the ski shop. Um, and then, I'm going to eat this anyway for score. There we go, got a score. Um, and he gets his skis, he crosses back over the road, and the sea look is going to come straight through. And he's going to zap me straight away. How unfair is that? He's done it again, look. No chance. Horrible, horrible level for that. Really is horrible. Can't, can't, can't. Yeah, that's a nasty level. Nasty level. Right, okay, let's try it again, though. So, but yes, and uh, and, and Horace goes skiing after that. You then go cross back across over the road. You go onto the ski resort. You ski down to the bottom. Uh, get a bit more money, which is usually, which is used as your lives. And I'm going to get killed here because I'm going to go too slow to the bridge. Um... Get a few more, get a few bit, bits more money, which is you happens to be alive. So we'll cross the bridge, which I just thought was a bit of suicide when I was a kid, but but it doesn't seem that bad now. I'm a little bit older. Um, in fact, the game seems an awful lot easier than when I was a kid. Funnily enough, uh, maybe I just got better at it. That's a surprise for me. Normally, I've got worse at these games. Um, anyway, um, yeah. So you go on your skiing resort, and then you go across the road again, a bit like this, where you just keep looping around on yourself over the four four levels, four or five levels. Yeah, four or five levels. It's also a 16k game, of course, so it also worked on the ZX Spectrum, the 16k one. So, so, so it was. It, it, it was. It, it's. It's not a bad game. I quite like it. I think it's quite good fun. Quite iconic for me. But I always wondered what what Horace was because he's got like that arm at the back and those huge eyes, and he kind of persistently runs. I don't know. He's a bit of an odd. He's a bit of an odd. A bit of an odd character. Probably one of the first Spectrum, or certainly first 8-bit computing gaming characters that was sort of a a running hero, I think. Predates quite a lot of characters. Probably doesn't predate Mario, though. Mario was in Kong and a few other things, wasn't he? Oh, no, 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 we need to get him to go... Oh, no, it's Br Spawn! There was three of them! There was two on top of... <laughs> Come on, then. Here he is, he's waiting. I'm waiting for him. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's faster on the way up, as I've said this before. He's faster on the way up. He's coming, though. He's definitely coming my way. See if you're coming right the way. No, no, don't go back! Don't go back! Don't go back! Look, I'm here! Tasty Horace! Come on, eat some Horace! There we go, we're away. I'm assuming nothing spawns at the top, which it has been known to do. Yeah, because they're not really very... They're mazy, but they're not mazy. I mean, this one hasn't got any mazing at all, really. It's just got a little loop at the bottom. Let's get this for extra score. I still haven't beaten my best, though. I've got that for extra score. Now, quick, quick in here before he does something. Before they do something horrible and go straight in here. I think it's better when you have more than one. Of them, possibly. I always thought he was trampling the flowers. I know he's hungry, but that's just ridiculous. Is he trampling the flowers to get their attention? It's very tension seeking of you, Horace. Oh, oh dicing with death. Dicing with death. No, don't follow me. Oh, no, I'm dead now. Because he's going to catch me. They always catch you through the tunnels. They're always slightly faster. Anyway, so that was Hungry Horace. That was that was the first game I ever played on my ZX Spectrum. It was the first one I loaded. I was dead chuffed actually watching those those bars on the screen as they went. And that screen, as I say, when it came up. Um, anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video.